Just a quick shot of the C Reader 3001 OBD2 scanner. It's by a company called Launch. This was purchased off Amazon in July of 2019. Been used once. Uh, there's just some basic instructions. Kind of got a quick start guide right here. It's got some generic locations of on different makes and models of where the DLCs are. DLC is data link connector. We'll show you this one. We're going to be hooking it up for the first time on the 2008 Honda Civic. No USBs. There's no kind of a port for updates. But the thing is, it was like $22 last year. Now they're $25. Bucks. I got this off recommendation of Scotty. Now let's go plug it in. This is an 08 Honda Civic with 102,630 miles on it. The check engine light has never ever come on in the entire life of this vehicle. I bought this new in May of 08. This car is going to be 12 years old in just three months. So I'm kind of anxious to plug it in and just see if anything has come up on it because there's times at a stoplight or something, especially in the summer with the AC running, that it will want to almost die on me, but has actually never completely died. It's always managed to, to pick itself back up. So I've got to hand it to it for that. Now let's uh, look at the DLC and we'll plug her in. It's just to show you that the check engine light, I do have one. It's marked DLC right here. I get back here. Closer to the console. And it's that gray animal right there. They mentioned three things before you do anything is to turn the key on. The battery voltage be between 11 and 18 volts, some ridiculous high amount. They just want to make sure that the battery voltage is adequate because the Creter 3001 does not have an internal battery. It's powered by the vehicle's battery. And number three is the throttle in the closed position or off of it. Just got to get my taper right. Push it on. Okay, the creator did come on. This vehicle has never had any issues, so as far as I know, it's never been hooked up to a, uh, any kind of a reader before. And it's 102,000 miles. The only problem that's ever required this to go back to the shop, other than the airbag recall, the Takata airbag on the passenger side, is at around 80,000 and had a water pump failure. DTCs in this ECU are zero. Well, that's good news for a nearly 12 year old car. Let's scroll down. I don't even know what all the readiness means. Read codes, there are none. I want to hit it anyway. Has no fault codes. Well, you gotta like that. I kind of thought I might have a misfire DTC on it, but obviously not. Well, no use going through them. It's all going to pass. Let's look at the EVAP system. EVAP system leak test failed. Well, now I wonder how it performed its test. Yeah, that's just car information. We don't need to look at that. Tool setup should have already been performed. Yeah. Uh, 
I think you can punch in your codes if you did get any. Get a better idea of exactly what they are. And all I do there, see, is a bunch of OKs. This drive cycle. Not sure what all that means. Well, that's great news. The vehicle's not running, so nowhere did it ask me to start it. The car is slightly warm. It just got back from a short trip. I guess that's shown in that 113 degree Fahrenheit. It's interesting. TP 18%. Not on the throttle. Now I'm on it. Car's not running. I'm about half throttle. That's interesting. There's wide open. Almost wide open. 75%. There's wide open at 78. Okay. Thirty-seven lines to go through. Warm-ups fifty-three. Lambdas are supposed to be a one point oh. That's considered perfect. So on EVAP, I think it said I had a failed. EVAP system leak test failed. Well, that's it. That's not bad for 25 bucks. It told me a lot of stuff that I have no idea what it's talking about, but I'll slowly learn it. O2 sensor test. Uh, I wonder how that back one does not support. Yes, we want to exit main menu. Okay.
I guess that's good news. I was kind of hoping to see a coat or two just to see what it would be, and I'm kind of curious with the age and the miles on the car. But on the other hand, I ought to feel pretty lucky about it. But the thing about these readers, guys, I'm in rural southern Indiana. And the shop labor here at the dealerships are right at $125 an hour now. Uh, keep in mind, though, you can't always go to AutoZone, O'Reilly's, or Advance, and if they're not busy, they'll come out and scan it for you. They're wanting to sell you a sensor or two or whatever. Let's go ahead and start it up, see what the numbers look like. I've got to do read codes while it's running. Just for grins. Well, that's what we knew. Okay. Let's go down to data stream. Let's see what all we can actually see the car doing with the engine running. That's kind of cool. I think fuel system one, I believe it's closed loop on the CL, but I'm not sure. Load percentage, I'm not sure where it's getting that at. We are setting idling. ECT is warming up to 143. Remember, it was like 111. RPM is showing maybe 900. Let's see what this is showing. Come on. 874 RPM manifold pressure there's 1510 now let's look at the tack just for grins looks like it's right on Okay, let's arrow down. We've got 37 lines to go through. Vehicle speed, maybe, I don't know. Zero. Spark advance. Spark advance moves. That's pretty neat. Fourteen throttle. Throttle position. Okay, we're back up to about 1500 RPM at 16 and a half percent. Let's go to 2000. There's 2000 RPM, 17.6, good enough. I guess it's counting the seconds while I'm running right. Uh, I'm not sure. Stick with me at the end of the video, I'll show you on the phone what Lambda, what Google says what Lambda is. I know when they're close to one, they're considered good. Cat temperature, 670 degrees Fahrenheit. She's getting warm. Catalytic converter. One more push. Pretty darn neat though for 25 bucks. That's what today's price is. Alrighty. That's going to be it. Now let's go look and see what Lambda 
definition is as far as OBD2 goes. The meaning of Lambda OBD2. According to OBD Auto Doctor, in other words, Lambda is the ratio between the amount of oxygen actually present in a combustion chamber versus the amount that should have been present to get perfect combustion. In an ideal mixture, there's exactly the amount of oxygen required to burn the amount of fuel present. Thank you.